All right, what's up, guys? It's Justin. I'm back at it uh, here from Fractal, and we're back at it with another Fractal Radio where we explore the different blockchain games that people are building out there in the metaverse. And today I'm joined by my friend, Kyler Frisbee, who is uh, the founder of Pogs, which is uh, pretty exciting. Uh, it's, a, it's a throwback. Kyler, how, how's it going? How are so you? So good, man. Uh, thanks for having me. Super excited. Been a big fan of yours for a long, long time, so getting to work with you is definitely uh, uh, pretty surreal. So hyped to be here. Awesome. So I've watched you kind of build this new version of Pogs for, for a little while, right? It's been uh, months and months since we've met. So tell me about like how you got involved in it and how, how, you, how you're revitalizing and bring back this kind of classic brand that's perfect for uh, Web3. Absolutely. So uh, flashback 2013, found Bitcoin, started trying to mine it, that kind of thing. Um, that's actually what inspired me to get out of banking and then to get into tech. Um, through a handful of years, ended up working at Google, hiring machine learning uh, and cloud stuff, and then moved on to Unity, where we built the very first machine learning team, teaching cars to drive in VR and uh, connected gaming and so forth. But my big passion was trying to create like a, a Web3, we didn't call it Web3 back then in 2017, but basically uh, a blockchain-enabled gaming ecosystem where you could provide, like we wanted to provide Unity assets that could be sold on a third-party marketplace and really give ownership to gamers. Unfortunately, the CEO yeah. wasn't really feeling it, so um, we moved on, uh, Did unit, uh, went on to Rivian, like did the IPO and so forth for a couple years, and then right around November after the IPO, I was really excited to get into blockchain tech um, and just reached out to Pogs one day. Uh, my brother had managed like an $800 million portfolio investing in venture capital firms. And so he and I really wanted to get into the crypto space. And so we just hit up um, the the owners of POG and, and told them our background and they were really excited. Uh, they'd gotten a number of inquiries about getting on a blockchain and were passionate about Solana. And we were the guys they picked to do it. So we got really lucky um, that nobody else had really, you know, I guess grabbed that ball yet. and. You were one of the first uh, individuals we got to meet. So um, our co-founder is Matt Sorg uh, over at Solana Labs. He's head of gaming. And through a couple introductions, I met you and David. Uh, like I said, I'd been following you since your YC days and Twitch and so forth. And um, really like followed your Snapchat story back when you were super active and so forth. And so it was really cool to get to understand where we could come into play and how you were building Fractal, this new version of what you were so talented in already. Um, and, you know, through, I think, five months of development, we created uh, the founding Pogger set that's, like, valued over a million dollars. We only sold 2,200, saved the rest for gameplay and giveaways and so forth. Uh, and now we're minting a, a collection with OK Bears, all with um, the intention to have a play for keeps aspect to the game that you can already play on Fractal. So we launched a tournament with you guys, our very first tournament, um, probably a month and a half ago, maybe two months now. And we had over 250,000 games played in the first five days. We flipped over 4.7 million pogs, uh, and we've been off and running. We did an OK Bears tournament. Now we're doing this tournament for everybody leading up to the Mint um, next week. And uh, it's just been sur really you know, a lot more successful than I thought off the bat. And thanks a lot to you guys with your API and your wallet integrations and your leaderboard. We really couldn't have gotten to this point without you. No, boom! That was the whole podcast right there. Thank you. No, I, I, um, I love it. Like you guys have done so much, and we've we've had a great collaboration. Um, but like, let's start at the beginning for people who don't know what Pogs are, because I grew up yeah. playing Pogs when I was a kid. Yeah. I think I'm probably old, a little older. Than a couple you, of years, but, maybe uh, that's about it. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, but when I remember when I was a kid, it was the Pogs were these discs that were like branded. You know, they had like graphics on them. They were like a, a collectible set of discs and then they were all different you know yeah. like magic cards or baseball cards they all had different rarities and then you know you kind of played a game with them where you tried to flip them over by hitting them with this what was the the disc the, the heavier the slammer disc or the kini you know, the slammer yeah, yeah 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 it was like honestly we don't like to advertise it like this but really the first kid's first gambling experience but it was skill based so like <laughs> you would bring your yeah. your pogs we made these for lisbon and i have some for you and for your team but basically oh, you would thanks. stack these up um and whatever you flipped over you got to keep so okay bears some solana labs and then we've got uh, this d gods one but in the back in the past like we have star wars we did 
Um, we partnered with the NHL. Um, I don't know if you remember Spawn, but we have Barbie Pogs yeah. and like Looney Tunes and all these different brands um, that came together to really create this wave. And it was uh, so popular that we sold 10 billion Pogs throughout 35 plus countries, partnered with all of the Holy biggest shit. IP from like Shaq to Pepsi, Coca-Cola, McDonald's. Uh, Warner Brothers, Universal, and, and everybody in between, to the point where it was hard to find cardboard. And then all of these other companies like Sky Caps and Tezos and Slam Caps really created Pogs, and then there were a lot of bootleg Pogs. Um, and so, just like everything, it got oversaturated because of um, you know fakes, and then uh, it kind of died out. But being that it branded with every single brand from Barbie to the NHL to Power Rangers and Pokemon, it can find itself in any game atmosphere. And so when we were thinking about uh, how to create like a universal asset that could be found in any game, Pogs really became the ideal thing. And, and so you, we're already in the portal of Metaverse. Um, You'll find us potentially in Star Atlas when you're buying your spaceship, being able to play Pogs there. Um, and our goal is to have this SDK out for Unity developers probably early next year where you'll be able to utilize Pogs in your development. Um, and then there's a, you'll be able to take whatever you win in those games and sell them on the market. Um, and, and just like uh, these Pogs that I showed you, we'll have OK Bear Pogs in packs that come out so your, your kids, like, Justin, you're, you're a new father for the second time. Um, our goal would be for you to have your digital pogs and then replicas of those that you could give to your kids. And, and it's already starting again in, in elementary schools. Kids are collecting slammers and playing pogs again. So uh, we actually ran... A, a, how, many, how many pogs are sold, you know, physical ones right now? Right now, so we haven't really gone to the global distribution, but before COVID, we launched a test run and we sold for two months, I think just in a handful of countries. And in those two months, we sold more pogs than any two months in the 90s. And it was because oh, wow. um, millennials like you and I have kids who... <laughs> it's like a throwback. Yeah, dude. And you I want my kids to play exactly. pogs. Exactly. Yeah. And that's really where a lot of that um, playground stuff has come from. But um, you and I are a target demographic right now trying to bring this back in a fun way that creates value and our slammers go for like uh up to four thousand dollars a piece right now wow yeah gotcha okay so so taking this experience which is like you know you're collecting these physical pogs you're buying packs and then you are playing games with other people where like you bring five or ten pogs or whatever and they bring five or ten then you like kind of have this gambling experience where you're you know you you keep what you flip over yep. and then you're translating that into the digital with with uh, kind of the Web3 version of Pogs. And so tell us a little bit about it. It's like the same experience, right? Where you're collecting these, you know, it really lends itself. Like there's limited editions, there there releases, they're, you're collecting them. And then there's a game where you get to, you know, kind of play against people digitally and, and you can, or like you can also play against like a single player scenario too. Right? Absolutely. And like win some from the pool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, you, you know this better than most uh but yeah you'll be able to play single player against pogman and win and lose your pogs and 50 percent of what you lose to pogman will be burned and then you'll be able to bring your pogs i'll bring my pogs and we'll play for keeps but beyond just the like the pogman battle where you're slamming and and it's all physics based um each pog digital pog has four different like uh game traits so like weight strength attack and um material so it will determine how the pog stack flips um in real mm. physics but even beyond that you and i could play like air hockey for a pog or we could play like connect four or checkers for pogs um and okay so you're, you're like a mini game ecosystem exactly. for and pogs are the you know the, the stakes exactly yeah yeah and and we'll be able to brand cool. with everybody from uh the okay bears the d gods and Fractal and some of your favorite uh, your favorite games on your platform, and, uh, and then we'll create the the packs that could be redeemable for Pogger Coin, or we could sell them in different stores like the Solana Spaces. Um, and the mobile approach is really exciting, where when Solana Saga comes out, you'll be able to play mobile against each other as well. Cool. And so um, you know, this is live, right? You have the experience live. Uh, people are able to play you can play on Fractal right now. Tell us about what's 
what's live right now and what's coming absolutely out. yeah so we have the play for fun version right now where global players can connect and uh, right now we've got a tournament running on fractal up until monday the 12th where uh, whoever flips the most pogs will win a slammer and then the top 14 players will all get a piece of that founding pog set and slammers are around 200 soul um, uh, or plus and then the secret rares are 250 soul right now um, at the floor and, and there's only one or two of each on the, on the market uh, and so yeah you can play for fun and very soon we'll have the play for keeps coming out uh, in arcade with multiple games and where you'll be able to you know play for keeps and, and play to collect collect to earn that kind of thing cool yeah. awesome and so um, uh, tell us about this collection that we're about to drop um, you're collaborating with like you know the biggest project or one of the biggest I'm not absolutely sure track, but on Solana yeah yeah okay bears. Uh, so we were lucky enough to get in touch with the okay bears probably three or four months ago told them what we wanted to do and um, they were carving out their IP kit and so we have five bears we'll be giving one away to somebody who mints this collection on fractal uh, but we've got a stratified mint where we've got a player's collection that is all commons four different pieces of art all unique and those will mint at a 0.25 soul so you could buy 10 for 2.5 soul and, and we can play for keeps with those and then we also have the collector's edition which will have similar like pog pfps or okay bear pfps with all new pog traits and the slammers and you can already find some of those traits in the okay bears dressing room and they've been putting them on their okay bears and showing them off and so forth um, and then we'll have these okay bear packs of physical pogs that will come out and you'll be able to redeem those um, but we're really excited because next on the slate is uh we believe the salon of monkey business which i know you've been part of for a long time and uh and we were gonna do go with the d gods and the youths first but the monkey down man they just go so hard they've hit us up and shown a lot yeah. of passion and i think our demographic is probably more in the salon of monkey business being millennials and a, a little older folks than uh than the d gods and youth but we are excited about launching all those collections and um it's just a it's kind of surreal to get to be so part of this this ecosystem um and to have it really taken off we envisioned this back in 2017 and um you know our co-founder has been building games on ethereum since then and then matt launched a nft uh marketplace back in 2017 and so, yeah, I was ahead of the curve. Yeah, yeah, man. So, so just really excited to finally get a chance to to build what we believe in, and couldn't ask for better partners. You and your team are so skilled, and obviously, you've built out a great talent pool. Um, just honored to get to be a part of the Fractal Army, and uh, again, that API and leaderboard, man, that that came in absolutely clutch for us to be able to do what we're doing now. Yeah, it's 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 awesome to be able to have these like. Um, uh, like tournaments that engage the fans, you know, people who are playing and, you know, have something that's that you can do on Fractal that's not just like buying and selling stuff, you know? Um, so You guys were the first, sort of, dude. Like you guys yeah. really saw the market for gaming and dedicated yourselves to it. And uh, yeah, we couldn't be happier to have partners. You guys are so much different than the other platform that we have used in the past as far as the way that you treat your creators. <laughs> um, not going to name names, but just blown away with the care and the collaboration that you and your team have put in uh, compared to others in the marketplace. Awesome. Well, we're excited. We'll check out the Mint. It's at uh, fractal.is slash pog. And um, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be excited to check it out. It's going live next week. So uh, thanks a lot for joining me. Super simple, straight to the point. I think everyone gets it. I love this one. Uh, pog, Pogs is amazing. It's such a throwback. So I'm excited yeah, to, to participate. Yeah, this is All exciting, right. dude. Thank you again. And uh, for real, dude, uh, flowers and kudos to you for continuing to push, even obviously you don't have to, but you are pushing the space forward in a big way. Um, and, you know, I, I honestly, I know I'll say it all the time, but I couldn't be more excited to be a part of the Fractal Army. Thank you. Appreciate it, Kyler. Okay. See you later. Right, Bye. Bye.